important. Okay, so we've talked about this. Come here, Freddie. When we're when you're checking, right? Where you have to keep in mind that where you're checking, if you move, you know, you're moving the check where you want to hit. Okay, so if you're checking here, if you're moving their stick hand across their face and you want to hit their face, you're not going to make a direct contact, correct? Seven. So if you're bringing it here, what's open? The body. Yes? Seven. Okay, so if I'm bringing it low, then there's the face, right? If I'm pushing it here, then that's where the, if I'm checking here, that's where the strike is. If he decides to come in at me, boom, and I hooba this way, then I'm aiming here and I'm aiming here to this side of the body, right? Keep in mind that you can, if out of, in a two-dimensional style of fighting, there's quadrants, quadrant A, B, C, and D, right? You can only block and, or check two, three out of those four quadrants, right? So if I'm here, this is, this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. So this is B and C is blocked by my stick. I can either pick one of the other two quad, one of the other two remaining quadrants, correct? So if I'm checking here, over here, Raymond. If I'm checking here, back up, back up, back up. If I'm checking here, that means this is open, right? If I'm checking here, that means this is open. If I'm blocking like this, one of these two is open. Does that make sense? Yes, so back over here, Raymond. You're blocking light. Okay. So if I am, if he's striking me here, there's my block. I, this, th I'm blocked here and here. That means this is open. This is open. This is open. Right? Does that make sense? So you have to, this is why I told you guys, Kawi, the third level of the Kawi is telling your opponent where to go. Right? So again, so if he's striking me here, here, so then this is my block. This is blocking. This is wide open, correct? But he's still, his hand is still here, so he, he tries to check my hand here. That's when I go this way, right? So again, you have to determine where you want your strike to go, not just checking for the sake of checking, right? Because remember, I told you guys in a previous video, checking creates opportunities, right? But where's that opportunity, right? So again, if he's striking me here, Boom, this is my block, this is, that means this is covered, this is here, right? Now, obviously, it's hard for me to get to this side from this, right? Well, here's the trick. Instead of me, my stick going here, I bring him to my stick, right? So that's what, that's what checking does, it creates opportunity. Again, you can only protect three out of the four quadrants, you can't protect all four, right? Or, but then there's an opening. There's that opening. So instead of, if, this is, if his strike is here, this is my check, this is my block, these are two are blocked. So if he tries to punch me with his other hand, he necessarily can't because these are blocked. But the open side is here. It's hard to go from here then to here, right? So if I check, I just bring that to me instead, right? So. Cre create that opportunity, find that opportunity, right? Now, and, and then when you find that opportunity by understanding in the two-dimensional two thinking, and we do have three-dimensional thinking, right? But in the two-dimensional thinking, this is the, the four quadrant, one is the open spot. Depending on where you put his checking hand, his stick hand, excuse me, right? If I put it here and his hand is low, that means this is wide open. Right? If he blocks this way and he puts his hand here, that means this is open. Right? If I push this, if he, he goes low and he blocks here, that means that side is open. Does that make sense? Yes, All right.